Hey guys, how's it going? Lost here. So today I thought we would have a look at some skill shots that you might see um, in something like League of Legends. Um, and to implement these sort of skill shots, you know, whereby you press your ability button and then you get like an arrow, like an aiming arrow. And then obviously you can shoot and stuff like that. Uh, that this is what we're going to be implementing today. And actually, this is quite simple. It's not that difficult to implement this. So I thought that may, might be quite cool to show you guys um, just how you might go about doing this in one of your in one of your games. Um, so for this kind of thing, you're going to need three objects. You're going to need your character object, in our case, object archer. You're going to need your aiming object, or you could draw this if you like. Um, it would probably be more efficient to draw it, I would imagine. But we're going to use an arrow for this, and then you need your object archer arrow. So let's have a look at the archer first. So you're going to need a create event, and in here, I have specified three animations: an idle animation, a run animation, and an attack animation. And this is, you, you know, if you don't have animations for your object, don't worry about this. You don't have to add it in. This is purely so that um, I can obviously just switch between them. We also have an image speed. And I've set this at 0 0.2 simply because there's only four images in each animation. And anything above this is a bit too quick. Obviously, moving is set to false, just determines if we can move and when we're moving and stuff. Destination X and Y obviously determines where we're going to move to. And the W ability is when we press W and start aiming. We also have a step event. And in here, this controls the attacking and the moving. So, for example, what you can see here is if mouse is pressed, so if we press the mouse, the right mouse button, if the mouse is to the right of our player, then the image scale, X scale is 1, that just means we're facing to the right. If the mouse is to the left of the character, then um, our image X scale is minus 1, so we would then look to the left. And then we're saying if the W ability is false, then we're, able, we're just able to move, so the dest X and dest Y will be on the mouse position, and it'll set moving to true. It will create um, the move alert, which we'll go through shortly, and also, and also it will set the sprite to the run animation. So when we're saying moving, we're saying if the W ability is false, then we will move to where we need to go. And if the and if we activate the W ability while we're moving, then we'll stop instantly and in, we'll go back to the idle animation, and moving will be set to false, so that we can't move until we've done the attack. Similarly, if we actually finish the path that we've set here, then, and this is what this means, so if the X is the dest X and the Y is the dest Y, then we stop and the sprite image goes back to idle and the moving goes to false. So, we're going to come on to this ability bit here. And to explain that, we need to look down here and we say, if keyboard, so if we're pressing the W button, and if the ability is false already, then we'll just say if instance exists, object aim arrow, sorry, if it doesn't exist there, that means does not, and if it does not exist, then we will create the aim arrow on our X and Y position, and then we set the ability to true. Um, now let's have a quick look at the aim arrow. It just has a step event, and I've just named it sort direction. And all this does is it says direction equals the point direction from the object itself to the mouse position and then the image angle just equals the direction and that will just do that every frame so that it will just constantly follow where your mouse is in terms of direction uh, and that, that works quite well so once, once we've created that once we hit the right mouse button and if the ability is true which it is, it is true at this point down here then we create the object archer arrow, this one here. We destroy the object aim arrow, we set the ability to false because we've just fired, and then we change our animation to the attack animation. And down here I've just put image index equals zero, just so that it will play the animation from the very first frame. So let's have a look at the archer arrow. In here we have a create event, and it just says fire arrow, self-explanatory. So the travel direction equals point direction from the object, from the arrow to the mouse, just like it would in the um, 
aim arrow object. The direction then becomes the travel direction, so this one. The image angle is the direction, and the speed is 5. So that, that will set it off in the right direction, at a speed of 5. Then in the step event, we just destroy the object. So we say if the distance to the player, so distance to object, object actually, is more than 300, it will just destroy itself. Or we say if instance place, so if we, this is a collision event, so if we collide with a parent enemy, so basically any, any sort of enemy in your game that has this parent, or any parent you want really, it will destroy it on impact. And this is also where you would code in your damage, should you want to do that. Right, so that's basically the attack done. Um, what you're looking at down here is we're saying if the sprite index is the attack animation where we set it here, then what happens is it will just check it, it'll just say if the image index has gone past the last attack anim like the last attack um, sub image. So let me show you. Um, so there's only four of them. If the attack animation has gone past this last one, then what happens, or if it's if it's equal to it, or it's gone past it, then the sprite index becomes the idle animation again. Now, there's one last thing that I'd like to explain. This isn't really about the attack. This is more to do with the the way that it moves. Um, if you look at the instance create here, when we, if the ability is false, when we right click and we're moving. Um, it creates on the mouse position, wherever it is, an object move alert. And in the object move alert, I simply have a step event that says image alpha, so this is basically the transparency, it starts at 1, and we're going to take 0 0.5, 0 0.05 away every single frame of the game. And if the image alpha becomes equal or less than 0, it'll just destroy itself. And that leaves you with this kind of effect. Uh, where you just click and then you get like a little dot to show you where your character's moving to, which is pretty neat, really. Uh, but yeah, if you can see that there, there you go. But yeah, that's that's how you end up with a skill shot system similar to this. Uh, it's quite effective, really, and it's it's very simple to do, and it can be quite effective if you want to make, you know, uh, a skill based game that's that's to do with aiming and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching guys, I hope this has been helpful, and I will see you next time.